What is up, guys? It is 4.30 in the morning. We are about to head to the airport. We are heading to Hickory, North Carolina right now. It's all about the grind. It's about the hustle. You wake up early, you go to bed late, you do what you got to do to make the plays, to get yourself in a better position in life. We out here hustling, and we put it into work. Uber about to pull up right now. We're heading to the airport. Should be in Hickory right around 8 a.m. Let's get these deals, baby. Let's go. So dealer setup starts today around nine o'clock. It's about nine right now, so I'm gonna get there around 10. Hopefully Kenneth doesn't take all the deals, you know what I'm saying? But I'll be there in about an hour. We're gonna get in there, talk to the dealers, get some quick, easy deals to start, and we're gonna have a great weekend. Got a lot of content coming, but yeah, we drive it to Hickory. Let's get it. What's so up, guys? We're here with Lauren. This is her first card show. Her first card she purchased today. I just got the sub back. PSA 9 LeBron Bazooka. We're giving out good deals for 400. Always gotta hook people up. Thank you, Lauren. Let's get it. What's so up, guys? We're here with my boy, Trevor. We just closed a deal on a nice Kobe White Flawless Auto. Two 30 out of 25 is a good deal. So, so you ripped this? Yeah, I pulled it out of flawless. Pulled it out of flawless. Wow. Well, congratulations. Good deal. Right, thank you, bro. Yeah, thank you. Let's get it. All right. So we're here with the two homies. What's your name? Austin. Aria. Aria. All right. So what's y'all's best card in your collection? Uh, I don't have it with me right now. Um, what's the card? A Patrick Mahomes rookie. Okay. Yeah. And what's yours? Mine is probably Patrick Mahomes uh, PSA 9. PSA 9 optic. Oh, nice. And you guys enjoy the hobby? Yeah. All right. Well, appreciate it, guys. Let's get it. All right, so this is your first card you ever purchased, right? Yep, first Lamar one. Jackson. How much did you buy it for? 600. How much did you sell it for? 610. So you made $10 in about an hour. So now what are you going to do with the 610? Got to go buy some more. That's what you got to do. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, we're here with the man, Ryan, in the building. And what's your name? Matt. Matt. So what do y'all collect? Basketball, baseball, football. Big basketball guy. And who's y'all favorite player? D-Wade, all time. D-Wade? All time. All time. I, say, I say Julius Irving all time. Okay. Like, and how long y'all been in the hobby? Six years. Six years. Yeah, we've been, yeah. we've been here for a while. So what's y'all's best deal you've ever done? Like, what's, like, the most money made on one deal? Probably a few grand. Like, profit? For real? Yeah, profit. Oh, yeah. Oh, profit? What's the biggest grand. car you sold? Biggest car I sold? Uh, probably, like, a Mahomes. Auto. Yeah. How much you sold like that RPA. for? RPA. Uh, what was it? Three grand? Two grand? Like, no, like, four. Oh, four. Four, dang. Um, that's what's up. Yeah. And how old are y'all? I'm, I'm 12, 15. Man, when I was 12, 15, I was not selling my homes rookies. That's tough. Thank y'all. And if you have one word of advice for other kids your age, what would you say? Start collecting now. Okay. And what yeah, about you? Invest. Invest in, in what? In stocks. And, and cards. And cards. All right. And what, what's one card they should look for? Patty, Herbert, Tua. Let's get it. Uh, Trey Young, also John, Zion, Melo. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Catch y'all tomorrow or it's Sunday, right? Sunday. All right, we out here getting it. Let's go. All right, my man Ryan is cashing out big time. We got the fifteen dollars mosaic Tyler Hero. Let's get it. Appreciate it, bro. Fifteen big bucks. Let's get it, bro. Have you ever heard of Wawa? No. Bro, for real? Yes. For I feel real. bad for you, bro. Wawa is the best coffee gas station in the history of the world. Wawa. See, he knows. Shake Shack is or Burger Five. Yeah, Shake Shack. That's pretty good. But <laughs> eh. you've had Wawa, right? I think, yeah. You've had co you drink coffee? Never had, no, never oh, that's Wawa. probably why. Yeah. Once y'all hit eighteen, you can drink some coffee and it'll be I've good. Wawa. Wawa is the best. Just know that. All right. Let me hear a sheesh. 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 Let's get it. What is up, guys? We just got to the Hickory Show day two. Today is Saturday. It's right around 8.30 a.m. The show is just about to start. About to head in, get some stuff in the showcase, walk the room, and get these deals. I'm super excited for today. Yesterday was actually a really good day. We sold a lot. I bought some cards. Um, You know, after going to the National for a week, it was good to just kind of go to a smaller show that was, like, peaceful. Like, it, it, yesterday was great. Had a lot of fun. Met some cool people yesterday. So, yeah, we're back here. It's day two. Got my Sheets coffee this morning because there's no Wawa out here. Shout out to Sheets. I will have to say the coffee is pretty good i'm about to start doing coffee reviews on this channel i'll give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 nice little sweet little taste put some french vanilla in there um and overall the taste is just amazing but yeah we're here at hickory getting these deals today stay tuned got a lot of store want to make some so one thing i'm gonna try to do today is trade up my jordan fleer psa 6 i want to i want to pick up a big like nt or a big immaculate um like auto of you know zion or even some you know football quarterbacks or zion or luca i want to trade up that jordan so i want to like i want to get like six thousand trade value 55 to 6,000 trade value on that jordan and put it into like an eight to nine thousand dollar card that's kind of the goal a basketball nt some football nts or immaculates you know something that i can just i mean the jordan's very liquid but i just don't see it going up in like price substantially over the next month and i think you know if you get a nice nt of a quarterback and it hits and that play works like that quarterback plays well and his cards go up like i could turn that six thousand dollar jordan into a ten thousand dollar card you know so that's kind of the goal here see what we can do today we're gonna walk around show you guys some cards and uh let's get it we are here with 
with Condra Bogan in real life for real. Shout out to my guy. He just gave me a good deal. Hey, look at that. That's tough. Just gave me a good deal on the Kevin Porter Jr. Appreciate it, bro. Let's get it. No, that's really him, y'all. For real. That's crazy. That's tough. He's famous. Oh, what's up, y'all? We here at the Hickory Show with my man Terry. He's cashing me out. Jacob Easton is a big buy and a big sell right now. Got the one on one, got the contenders. A nice little throw in. This is what I realized, bro. Buy at shows. I got all these in a bulk deal, right? That's why bulk deals are good. Next thing you know, Wentz gets hurt. These shot up. He's giving Terry a good deal. We having fun out here. Let's get it. Let's get it. You already know how we do it. Let's go. What's up, y'all? We here at the Hickory Show, and I got to tell y'all the lesson that I just learned. Now, as you know, I'm a, I'm a quick flipper. I like moving stuff quick, buying it here, selling it here. But in reality, patience is the game. You got to have patience. Not every card you buy today has to be sold today. Not every card you buy today has to be sold this week, this month. Sometimes, in order to make money on a card, you got to hold it for a, a couple weeks or a couple months. There's nothing wrong with that. Patience is the game. And, and you know, today just kind of hit me like, yo, just because I buy a card or just because the first three people don't want the card who see it, doesn't mean it's a bad card. Doesn't mean I have to move it quick. Doesn't mean I have to like go try to get out of it. Bro, you just chill. You got a good card. People know it's for sale. You post it on Instagram. You have it in the showcase and you let that buyer come to you. You never have to like quickly dump something or quickly like get out of something, bro. At the end of the day, there's millions of people in this hobby. Somebody's going to want the card. Never panic. Never rush sales. Just go with the flow. There's nothing wrong with holding cards. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with quick flips, you know? So it goes hand in hand. But you can quick flip stuff, but have patience at the same time. You don't always have to say yes to the first the first offer. You don't always have to say no to the first offer. If you're making money, be happy. But have patience in it all. We here at the Hickory Show. It's a good size show. Let's get it. Get it. This is great. You got the sticker with it. Yeah. So what's the backstory on it again? Back in 1958, basically you'd have these booklets and what you would do is you'd collect these stickers, rip off the back, so this is still in there, put it in there, and then you'd hold on to it and you'd keep it. I think there's 24 players in there that you'd have. And it's it's signed by him. Signed by Pele. Mm, that's tough, bro. That's what's up. See it, boy? Sheesh. <laughs> All right, Canada's making a low-key play. And who's this low-key guy? What's his name? It's Mitchell Trubisky. Okay, and why are you buying Mitchell Trubisky? Because he's already at the bottom. Okay. His price is literally at the floor. So, so low risk, high reward. Plus, I'm in North Carolina. He sells very well locally. If anything, you know, we can sell it here. Right, There's always see. Mitchell Trubisky collectors here. Facts. Let's see. I never heard that sentence before, but let's get it. Okay, first we got the nice Origins RPA. BGS 9, 11 of 25. We got a nice uh, Limited. We got a nice Immaculate RPA out of 99. We got another Immaculate. Out of 25. Oh, we got a flawless out of 15. 13 of 15. Sheesh. National Treasures booklet of Trubisky. This man Kenneth said, go big or go home. Another booklet of Mitchell Trubisky. Blue Optic out of 75. Trubisky. We got the Declaration of Independence, Mitchell Trubisky. This joint's pretty tough out of 10. One of 10. We got the Optic Contender, Mitchell Trubisky out of 25. Bro, they just keep coming. We got the Rookie of the Year Contenders. Ooh, 24, 25. Nice. We got the Rookie Ticket, Mitchell Trubisky. Red Foil, Optic Contenders, Trubisky. This never ending. Mitchell Trubisky, Panini Contenders. We got a nice out of 10 Elite Series. Oh, out of five Origins. That's a then, nice patch, though. Then he gave me this for free. And then the Flawless, what is that? UNC? Yeah, his, Sheesh. his UNC stuff actually sells better no matter what year. So uh, true collectors actually buy him here locally in a UNC jersey more than his pro uniform. So, so if Josh Allen hurts his pinky one NFL Sunday, right? And he doesn't play. He's out for just the rest of the second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, whatever, right? The second half. And he comes in and plays super well, wins him the game. Josh Allen's back and healthy next week. He could get traded to a team that needs him. And you, my friend, will be rich. I don't know about rich, but uh, we'll be well off. Be well off. Will you move to the islands at that point? I will be moving not to the islands. I will be vacationing. Okay. How many cards was that total? Uh, what was the number? Was 18 cards. He threw in the UNC one for free. So you got 19 cards. Are, are you going to disclose the price you paid? Yes, I paid in total $950. 950 dollars for 18 autos. Y'all yeah. do the math. That's how you do it. And hopefully, hopefully it pays off. It's low. Hopefully risk. it pays off. Low He's at the bottom. Good. Right. Really, the only downside is if he never plays again. But I think he has the opportunity. He's young. I mean, his class is 2017. That's Mahomes' year. So, you know, he's probably 24, 25, I would guess. Let's get it. You got it. All right, we're making quick flips. We just sold the Joe Burrow. PSA 9, 80 bucks. You said you got about 250 to spend. Football. Um, you like Sam Darnold or no? Not really. I like he's not a Sam Darnold. Like um, you like Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. You got this. It's a smaller card. Sheesh. Sheesh. Big sale today. Kyler. PSA 10, Kyla Murray, White Sparkle. We closed the deal. The kids are loving it. Let's go. Let's go. You want this one? I'll give I'm you this one. Kyler. That one is like 400. 
It's a little more. What about this one? Is that like Winston? Right. I'll give you that for twenty dollars if you want. <laughs> twenty I'll bucks. I give you this for twenty two. How much is this? That one, one hundred dollars. Hundred, hundred bucks. bucks for De'Aaron Fox. You like Fox? Yeah. This one's number two. I'll do basketball too, I guess. Oh, you want to do De'Aaron Fox? Hundred yeah, bucks. I'll do De'Aaron. All right, let's get it. He's taking De'Aaron Fox out of 175, Lime. I just got this back from PSA. 100 bucks. Let's get it. You like Matthew Stafford? I know a guy that does. We got 60. How much is it? 100. Boom. Good deal, bro. Thank you. Let's get it. Sheesh. Here with my man, Ario. As y'all saw, he bought the Joe Burrow Prism for $80, right? Yep. So tell him what you just did. I just went to someone that I just sold him a ton of cards for 425 and I just flipped it for 100 $100. Hundred dollars. So you made how much profit? Twenty dollars. And how long did it take you? Ten minutes. That's the grind. That's the hustle. Twenty dollars in ten minutes. At the end of the day, bro, anything you want, you gotta grind for it, and you can get it. My man Ariel, he's a hustler. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yep. Go find some more deals now. Let's go. We're here with my man Sam. They said he came back to the table five times. I wasn't here every time, but finally he came back. I'm here. Forty bucks for the Winston. Let's get it. Thank Thanks. you, bro. Let's go. All right, we're here with Tyler. We're trying to make a big trade. I got the goodies. We're trying to make a trade on the Jason Tatum Silver Auto. Go ahead and show him the Silver Auto. You're killing me. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> You're killing me. Stay tuned. Let's see what we can do. All right, we're now posting deals on Instagram. We just sold the Zion Fireworks. Sold for $200. We just got it back from PSA. I'll take it. Let's get it. Look, the showcase is getting mad empty. We've been working. We've been working. We ready to buy up. All right, so I walked around the whole show with the Jordan Fleer. I really want to trade up in this Fleer. I want to find a big car, like an eight to $10,000 car. They're just there wasn't much high end at the show. We'll try again tomorrow. Maybe somebody will walk up with something, see what we can find. But if not, take it to the next show and see what we can do. We did sell a lot today. We did sell the Kyla White Sparkle. So let's get it. We got what we wanted. Sheesh. What is up, guys? It is Sunday, day three of the Hickory Show. We're about to head there right now. It is 7.45. It starts at 8 o'clock. We're going to grab some coffee, head on there, and get these deals today. I'm looking for Christian McCaffrey today. So last night, we, I posted some of my story. And bro, he sold like so quick. And it just made me realize he's liquid. So that's, that's something to to, to, to realize and to remember you know when you post a car for sale and it sells quick and you get a lot of interest in it you need to get more of that card or that player because it just shows people are looking for that guy so today i'm gonna go look for more christian mccaffrey post it in the story you know buy get in the story and sell it quick so that's kind of the game plan i'm also looking for more football quarterbacks uh it's gonna be i think an exciting football season i'm really hyped for that still i'm buying basketball again you know luca zion even like mid-tier guys lonzo ball kobe white you know kpj um i think that like you know guys like that you can you, you can win on you know uh, luca and zion are just so high right now that the margins it's like you're making maybe 10 20 percent off you know maybe ten thousand dollars for one of his good cards you know which is cool but it's just like such a high buy-in meanwhile you got lonzo ball who's you know best card like an nt is 1700 and when he gets traded it doubles in price you know so aiming for those mid-tier guys but their best card is, is is a kind of a play i'm looking at right now i'm excited to see what i can find i think dealers are going to kind of bring their prices down they've been kind of high this weekend but i think today we're going to get some deals done i'm excited can't wait to show y'all what we get you already know what we say now oh yeah and by the way ain't no wall wall on hickory so i gotta go to sheets so i'm gonna give you all the sheets coffee review today hopefully sheets lives up to the standard shout out to everybody who said what's up this weekend the love on youtube we out here getting it we hustling we grinding every single day let's get it all right we are here at sheets let's see what we got wall wall don't got no touch screens for coffee you just pour it right, we're gonna go with some french vanilla all right gotta put the cup on the all right there we go okay a little fancy here let y'all know how it tastes let's get it So there's definitely more fancier than Wawa. Because Wawa, you just walk over there and you just pour it yourself. You do that nice little creamer right over here. A little sweetener, so okay, okay. All right, here we go. We got a Sheets Cappuccino. Let's see how it goes. Oh my goodness, that's actually good. That is actually pretty good right there. Wawa, you got a little competition. You know, Wawa, I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all slacking. Y'all are like in three states out of the United States, like Florida, Virginia, and New York. Like, I don't know what's going on, but maybe I need to start some franchises. But shout out to Sheets for the good coffee this morning. We headed to the show. Let's get it.
that guy has a bunch of McCaffrey. Yesterday we posted a McCaffrey in, on Instagram in my story. And like within five minutes, we had five DMs about the McCaffrey. So I went, I went back over there, took some pictures of stuff, posted it on Instagram. Already sold two cards. So I picked up a McCaffrey XRC and a McCaffrey Prism 9. Both of those already sold. We're making these plays today. We'll probably go back over there, buy some more McCaffrey. Stay tuned, we got a lot in store. It's a little slow today, but we're gonna still find these deals. And we're gonna get it up. Let's get it. Boom, that was the Hickory vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will say Sunday was very, very slow. We ended up leaving early. Not a lot of vendors showed up. Not a lot of people came out. You know, that show was normally a one day Saturday show. They tried to see how Sunday would be. Not many people came through, so there wasn't much content from that day. But overall, it was a great show. We sold some stuff. I picked up some new stuff. Um, I'm sending two cards off the PSA that I picked up recently. So I'm gonna show you guys those just now, uh, right after this. And again, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment. Let's get it. All right, we're sending a nice Tom Brady 2008 Topps Chrome Refract and an SP Contenders Auto of Josh Allen. Both of these are gonna go PSA Express. Let's get these tens, let's go. This Brady is so clean, bro. Sharp corners, it's centers. Surface is super clean. I'm about to put it in a card saver right now. Let's get this 10. I think this can definitely 10. I think this has a shot at a 10 too. The auto is kind of off the, you know, the card a little bit onto his foot. So this is why it's gonna go to PSA, but it's pretty good centered, sharp corners. I think it has a shot at a 10. Boom, so those are the cards that I'm about to send to PSA right now. I'll keep you guys updated when those come back. We're hoping for two tens. Uh, one thing I want to say is if you're not selling on Facebook groups, you're missing out on a whole audience. Just this past week, Monday and Tuesday, I sold a bunch of cards on Facebook that didn't sell at the show. You know, I moved some inventory. I'll put some Facebook groups in the description that, that are good to join. You know, it's they're great groups that you could just post your inventory. People are going to hit you up. They'll DM you and you'll move some stuff. If you're not on Facebook selling, you're missing out on a whole audience. These groups have 40, 50,000 people in them and it's just a new audience to reach. So make sure if you're not in Facebook groups, I would definitely recommend selling on Facebook. And uh, yeah, this is episode 15. Thank y'all for watching. A lot more in store. Let's get it.